Hi, this is Larry Siegel from TV Worth Watching, sitting in for David B. and Cooley, who's dawdling on assignment. We're doing Best TV tomorrow, and tomorrow is Friday, February 19th. And we've scoured and scoured the offerings, and there are some great movies that bear watching again if you haven't seen them yet, such as over on HBO 2017's Dunkirk. It's Christopher Nolan's breathtaking mastery of visuals and time fracturing to tell the story of an epic and very true evacuation. Or, over at Turner Classic Movies, it's 1991's Thelma and Louise. It's director Ridley Scott and his influential female buddy movie starring Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis, who were both nominated for Best Actress. Though neither one won, it did win for Best Original Screenplay. Is this a proto-feminist film upending traditional approaches to the characterization of women on screen? Or is this a misogynistic story that depicts two women making terrible decisions under pressure and paying the ultimate price? Personally, I'm in the former camp, but why not leave some comments below and let us know what you think? But when it comes to something new, we really need to go back to something kind of old here at Best TV Tomorrow. It's episode seven on Disney Plus with WandaVision. What started out as a comedy with drama seeping in through the cracks is turning into an action thriller where even the main characters don't even know what they're doing and why. Now the internet's awash with Marvel Easter egg hunters and theorists, but go ahead and spin your own. It's part of the fun as we learn that some of the biggest superhero storytelling is taking place on the small TV screen. If there's one thing that really stands out from that time, what would it be? You mean from the making of yeah, the movie? Yeah, making of the film. I would say um, driving. <laughs> really? Driving constantly. We went through, I think, seven cars in that movie. Yeah. And I couldn't drive slowly at the end of that film if my life depended <laughs> on it. Um, so I'd say mostly the being outside, because it was Where? us against all these guys. You know, Ridley is a, an amazing kind of iconic director, and, the, and they were just would follow him off a cliff. No, nope. yeah. <laughs> and they were bare-chested with their T-shirts around their heads. Always, uh, the joke for us was that... Um, we thought it would we would just be like a voiceover because they were shooting every sunset, every sunrise, every you know they would just go up over the mountain, and the two of us were in that car forever. Oh, and right? one time, yeah, and uh, Ridley almost always would operate the camera, uh, we, we, you know, which is great. And uh, we were doing some endless drive where they're towing the car, and he'd pan from the sunset onto us, pan from the sun. So one time we. Uh, we hid under the dashboard. <laughs> and he's carefully planning. That there's nobody there. <laughs> no, he didn't fun. think everything we did was that funny, but we he were. He didn't know. <laughs> I don't think we he did thought think it was that a was riot. Funny. We also, at the very last day, they were filming again on the way to wherever it was, and Gina taught me the scene in Norwegian. What was it? <laughs> Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> and so when they had dailies and they played it, they thought somehow the sound had gotten backwards. <laughs> It's just a little tidbit, now you know. 